How are people around the world dealing with the corona situation? My name is Barbara H. Schmidt and I have interviewed people from more than 20 countries around the world in a five hours Insta Live. So here you can see the result from the interview. Enjoy! Now we're gonna have uh, Bangladesh on. Yeah, in Bangladesh, last 10 days at home is... Uh, in Bangladesh, it still is in um, good uh, situation. Uh, already affected 61 people out of the 60s death case and yeah. already recovered 26 people. So it still lives uh, maybe initial stage in Bangladesh. Total population is around 165 million people in here. Yeah, but so was, we can tell. I was reading uh, that uh, these cases number seem to be a little bit because uh, they were testing everyone and um, there was no testing and most of them were centralized in the capital. Why? Yes, uh, yes, it's true. In the, in, the, in the beginning of the March, uh, uh, maybe on 8th March, the first case was detected. Mm -hmm. And the beginning of the ma uh, March, uh, there was crisis of test kit. The only one laboratory was uh, can do the uh, test mm -hmm. and uh, from last two days another eight laboratory is ready for the test and now the test kit is available in the country and another is very good news for Bangladesh one Bangladesh company uh, named <coughs> Ganeshastho Kendra they develop one test kit uh, <coughs> which is cost is only five US dollar which is be in the market in middle of April. It is under the supervision of World Health Organization, and it is hopeful, very good news for Bangladesh as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, now uh, every day can test uh, eight center of the country, and it is increasing the test uh, facilities. Mm -hmm. So we are hopeful to some death case was there, which is called by pneumonia, but uh, it was not detected. Mm -hmm. So now people is hopeful, it will be better in future. And uh, what kind of, uh, are you, you said you were in quarantine or for 10 days? Or? Yeah, uh, initially uh, from 26th to 4th April, it was declared for lockdown. Mm -hmm. And now it is increased up to 11th, and we don't know, it's maybe increased. And the government deployed the <coughs> military people, all every part of the country, to strictly follow the quarantine situation. And are they so go the yeah, yeah, uh, mainly the initially people was uh, not con much concerned about the uh, home quarantine and not uh, actually it was not uh, familiar with the Bangladeshi people uh, as like other country. But now they realize the see the developed country every day with death cases increasing. So now people is uh, concerned about their personal health, family health. So they are now in a stay at home. Okay, and how is with the job? Job situation in Bangladesh, um, total I see, uh, I told you one, 165 million people and uh, there is uh, almost 4% people is living under the poverty level and <clears throat> job situation um, for the export country, government already dictated some subsidy around 600 million US dollar to support the salary. Mm -hmm. And government take uh, <clears throat> take initiative to provide food those who are mainly daily income. Daily, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, so uh, taxi driver, the uh, uh, who who is daily basis job. So government and some private entrepreneur and some private organization providing the food for them those people. Now I have some questions here from my colleague. Uh, here, uh, Bangladesh. Uh, the in Bangladesh, uh, main concern is the people. Uh, three things. Three things. People is in comp uh, consideration. How um, uh, how long people need to stay at home, and how will people get the 
uh, all the people, all the not only poor people, all the people will get the medical support. And the third is the personal income and food safety. See mm-hmm. in Bangladesh, uh, in the beginning, from the beginning, government strictly control the food price and ensure the food is available in the market. Mm-hmm. And government de- declare to provide uh, <coughs> food assistant who used to survive on the daily basis income, but currently have no income due to coronavirus situation. And um, uh, some uh, private organization also providing the food. So <coughs> in the every district, there is almost 65 district in Bangladesh. Every district there is a local uh, district uh, administration uh, and there is a hot, uh, hotline number. If anyone can call uh, to number the government and shoot the uh, food for that people. Okay. Uh, and another thing, in the field, there is three administration is jointly uh, working: the regular administration, the pol- regular police, and the military. In the every district, the, these three uh, organization working jointly, and there is one combined cell uh, in the every area. So total country is under the uh, government control to uh, see the food and health safety. Mm-hmm. And what happens if you break the corona rules that were imposed now by the quarantine? It's still, uh, some people uh, going to outside the uh, administrative people uh, make them aware some play card is there and uh, ask them to return to go home and some punishment is started just three four days before. Initially there was no punishment or there is no fine but now it is started. It started. And uh, what's the point to break the rule? Is uh, prison or...? No, not, not prison, not financial fine. Okay. It's still, it's still financial fine. And you and your family are doing good? Yeah, it's still uh, doing good. Just uh, my kid is asking how the school is will open like this. Okay. And uh, the schools, are they having uh, remote schools or uh, it's just closed? It's closed, that's closed. It's still it's school, university, everything is closed now. Uh, thank you, Vanda. Thank you, Bangladesh, for this uh, short report. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you to invite me in here. It's just my uh, the, uh, good pleasure to join in here in this uh, quarantine situation, actually. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, everyone, that everyone that participated in uh, those interviews. See you soon, and bye-bye. Thank you.